Hey everybody, welcome to Local Business Hacks Podcast. I'm your host, Carl Case, and I'm on a mission to help you. Every week we're gonna be talking to local business owners and experts to get their best tips, tricks, and hacks to grow your business. This show's designed to teach you, inspire you, and motivate you to take massive action and start to build your future-proof business. Whether you're just starting off or you're taking your existing business to the next level, this episode is for you. So let's get started. Welcome to Local Business Hacks. I'm Carl Case, Head of Business Development at Referizer. I am joined here by Craig Hobson. Craig, thank you for joining. Tell the viewers and listeners who you are and, and a little background into you know your business. Sure, sure. Thanks for having me, Carl. Um, so my name is Craig Hobson, F45 Coral Springs West. So F45 is functional training for 45 minutes. I've been in the business for professionally for 12 years. I've been doing this since I was a teenager, since I was in my teens. I joined F45 about four years ago for my own personal training studio. What drove you to make that change? And was it the same location? Talk to me about that business decision. Sure, sure. So I originally started in a big box gym and the big box gym was bought out by a big corporation that really basically didn't care about members. They were just about numbers. So sure. I decided to find my own personal training studio. I started in a small location, I had clients follow me and we grew. We grew tremendously actually. And I bought some coaches with me as well. And we started doing small group training and we just started taking off. So I moved to a bigger location. And in that location, we started taking off a little bit more. So it just kept growing and growing. And it just got to the point where I needed a little help because I wasn't able to focus on the clients like I wanted to focus on. Them. Okay. So I did some research on different franchises and I came across F45 that fit the model that I was looking for. Basically, the same way they, that I was trained, that I trained is the way that they train. So it was easy plug and play system for me to kind of follow where I could get in. Uh, work the systems and give my clients the attention they deserve. Awesome. Well, I personally happen to know a bunch of personal trainers that I think their end goal is obviously to get to where you are of owning your own studio, let alone having hundreds of members for the last four years. Congratulations yes. on your anniversary. If we can talk a little more in detail of that journey, because coming from a big box gym, the average big box gym that we work with has five to 10,000 members where they're focused on a 15 to $30 average membership cost. And a personal trainer in there, from my experience, is really just getting their feet wet or getting certified at that big box gym and starting their fitness career. Yes. So obviously, the cliche of chase your dreams is present, but what can you speak on that, if, if anything? So it's a grind. It was coming from that environment uh, taught me a lot that we were going to meetings and it was all about numbers, just like you were saying. It was nothing about the clients. You know, it wasn't about what's the client's goal or how is Susie doing or whatever the case may be. It was all how many memberships did we sell? How many personal track pack packages did we sell? So that was of learning lessons for me moving forward into my own studio. And as you're a personal trainer, as most people know who are personal trainers, you get a connection with your clients. You know, you have this connection. You really start caring about them and what they want and your goals. And on that personal training session, you start to learn a lot about your clients. So it becomes very personal. So it was hard to go into that gym on a daily basis, knowing that for me to survive, I had to make numbers. And when I really just wanted to help a lot of members, as what my end goal was. So would you say that the way that you built your book of business was by being who you are at a core, which is somebody that cares and wants to drive results? Deep down it was, I'm not going to lie. Originally when I started, it was about money. You know, when you're going into your business, the thing you're thinking about was money. But like I said, once I started getting into my personal training business and my facility and I started building more relationships and I started seeing how I was affecting people's lives, people come, oh, you changed my life. And I tell them, I, I didn't change your life. I helped you adjust your life for you to change your life. Yeah. But that feeling alone, you know, is everything. When somebody walks in and go, oh, my God, you did this for me or you did that for me. That feeling is worth more than money to me. And I started slowly my mindset started going to more about caring for the members more and the money, the money just followed. And once you start getting into what you really love and your passion and you truly believe in it, then in my experience, my belief is that you don't have to worry about the money because it's going to come. Yeah. 
And that's easy to say, obviously, when you're able to pay your bills. But when you're sitting there going, if I don't hit my numbers, and even worse, being in that environment when you're selling a personal training package for, let's call it 100 bucks for two or three sessions, and you're taking home 15, that's a real tough thing to swallow because you're making somebody else money. Yes. And no one, at least that anybody listening to this podcast, if you like making other people money, keep listening to these podcasts because we're going to teach you why you don't want to do that. And there was times there was, I quit. I remember one day I was in my personal training studio and it was a struggle. And I remember I, I was at my, the end of my lease and my landlord had called me and I was like, I'm done. Like, I remember that day and I drove around the block several times. I bought a pack of cigarettes. I'm not even a smoker. I mean, that's how stressed I was. And I was driving around the block and I was just beside myself. And luckily, um, he didn't let the place go. The guy who actually took over the lease from me was my neighbor. He wanted to expand. But actually, he was like, you know what? If you want to stay, I don't don't have a problem waiting to expand. And I was able to keep the space. So I was completely blessed with that because I literally walked away. I was done. I mean, it came to that point. I hit rock bottom when it came to that. Why'd you come back? You know, just again, the clients, it was really the members that got me back. I mean, it was the business part of it. I was still learning. I was young and I was still learning the business part of it, how to make ends meet, how to make everything work. But I just loved being around the clients and I love training. I love coaching. I love training. So it took me a little while to kind of come back to reality, so to speak. And to put my two feet on the ground and say, all right, let me just, let me dig deep and let me figure this thing out. And that was just a moment where I just came back. And luckily, like I said, my landlord was cool. The guy that was moving in was cool. So luckily (laughs) I was able to keep my space and uh, keep moving forward. But yeah, it was a struggle at at one point. Well, I'm glad that the people that you motivate were able to motivate you because who knows where you'd be today if that wasn't the case. That is true for sure. Awesome. Well, talk to me about how F45 as an organization has set you up for success, ways that you've been innovative as an entrepreneur with your own studio. And at the end of the day, you're still an entrepreneur, even though you bought a brand, it aids to the success that you have. But at the same time, this is still your company. And if not run properly and you're not innovative, you might fall behind. So how has F45 supported you in chasing or keeping your dreams a reality? And simultaneously, how have you used your entrepreneurial spirit to continue that throughout your journey? So the biggest thing with F45 is they have the programming done for you. So everything is system. So we're able to take their systems and we're able to work the systems. As far as the clients go, now I can pay more attention and put more of my effort into customer satisfaction, creating challenges for the clients, making sure the clients are happy when they walk through the door, when they leave, you know, keeping on top of their goals, tracking their goals. So there's a lot more that I'm able to do along with my coaches, because a lot of the big work, the creating the programs that's done for you, creating the names, making sure the templates are different, make sure the exercises are changed. That when I was doing my personal training and group training was took up probably most of my time because the goal is that you don't want people to get bored. People come in the studio, you keep doing the same thing over and over again, they're going to get bored and they're going to eventually go out the door and walk somewhere else. So that was one of the toughest things that I had to do when I was doing my, um, when I was doing my coaching, then I would have to teach my coaches, right? So I'd write the program, then I have to go to my coaches, tell them how I wanted the program run and how this is going to work. So that was, that was tough. So now that I'm able to come into the studio every day, we have an app on our phone that tells our coaches what to do. So it's two minutes every day. Hey, this is the workout today. This is how much time it is. Look out for station number six. It is all done for you. So we have more time to cater to our clients. Awesome. And then how have you used your entrepreneurial spirit to bring an extra, let's call it flair to your business? Just trial and error. So just going through these last, I've been doing this professionally for 12 years and then four years um, at 45. So those those eight years on my own, I've seen and done so much, especially with, through COVID. So I was able to take that experience and the knowledge from that and just learn what to do and what not to do. Awesome. Speaking of that, what did you wish that you knew in, in the past, whether it be last week or 12 years ago, that you would 
love for other people in your footsteps or maybe in other places <coughs> that you wish that you knew, aside from obviously partnering with the proper marketing company? Um, yeah, so I get that question a lot. And I don't know if I would, you know, I the experiences, the journey. When you, when you go through the journey and you learn the things on your own, and then it's just more satisfaction, like coming out of it and being like, you know what? I learned from it. Now I know what to do. Now I'm going to go right instead of going left. So I don't know if I'd really change too much of anything because I feel like all the experience and all the good along with the bad has got me to where I'm at today. So listen to yourself and learn your lesson and not twice. No question. Listen to your first instinct. I'll tell you that. That's what I would say. Your first gut instinct, always never question yourself. That's what I would say. Don't question sure. That first instinct that comes through, follow through with it. It's always the right ones. When you start thinking, yeah, I would say that for sure. Awesome. So I want to talk a little bit about how many members do you currently have in your studio? Right now, currently we have 430, a little over 430 members, 435, somewhere in that area. That's awesome. And let's talk numbers post-COVID, pre-COVID. Okay. Is this the highest you've been? And how have you managed attrition while at the same time handled growing that membership basis? So before COVID, pre-COVID, we were about at 250 mark. Okay. And then COVID came around. And what happened during COVID, it was interesting because everybody started to panic. And I'm not faulting anybody for that. But my lease was coming towards an end. So in my mind, I'm thinking these landlords are giving away spaces. Maybe I should find a bigger space because after we come out of COVID, I'm going to need more space because people don't want to be that close. So yeah. you guys should start looking around. And that's exactly what I did. So during the time that we were started teaching on Zoom, so I started, once I was done with Zoom, my days weren't as full as it was before. So I decided to look into a nutrition program as well. So I started picking up my health coaching certification and I started doing health coaching through Zoom. I started selling supplements through Zoom. At that time, it was big because now everybody's worried about their immune system. And so it was perfect time. Ever. Yeah. So I started getting involved with a, another company called Equal Life. And through them, we started really building a, a relationship and the supplements as well. And from there, it was just a matter of me finding my space, a bigger space. And once I did that, we got out of COVID and I moved into my bigger space and it was the beginning of this year, actually, that we moved into our space and we just, it was, I think it was a combination between the location, people coming out of COVID, just being tired of being in the house, people yeah. understanding that how important their health is because we jumped from, we were taking around at 250 before COVID, of course, COVID we dropped. And then we started slowly trickling up towards the end of the year. And then once the new year hit, it just took off. So I think in January, we sold about a little over 50 memberships and it just started, keep going, keep going. Each month, each month was going. And we were able to build that membership up to over 400 members. Well, congrats on that. I'm super happy. Is that from word of mouth? Is it from referrals? What do you really attribute that success to? I'm going to say it's a little bit of everything. It was the location change. It was definitely the word of mouth and the marketing as well. So yeah, it was a combination of everything I'd have to say. It awesome. Was everything hit at once. I personally know firsthand you have one of the strongest cultures inside of your gym where you have people of all walks of life motivating each other, which is just amazing to see. How do you handle attrition today? Being genuine, making sure that I have genuine coaches. I've had people with me since I've started from the big box gym. So I have people who've been with me for 12 years, 10 years, eight years. It's amazing. Every day, we just had our four-year anniversary this past Sunday. And I was talking to everybody and I was just reminded of those people who've been with me that long, 12, 10, eight years that are still walking through my door. It's like family. And that's when I bring coaches on, that's one of the things that I really do look for. I'm not looking for a great coach. I'm looking for, are you going to connect in our community? How are you with clients? Are you personable? Do you care? Well, that's the main thing. And they all feed off of that same. So we all care about our members. We are a fit fam. We are really family. It really is a tight knit group. And I think that's one of our biggest reasons for success is really honestly caring about the clients. A lot of people say it. A lot of businesses will say, oh, yeah, family client. But do they mean it? And how, and how is it? You can feel it when you walk through our doors. Even our members that have been there for two weeks are like, this is like family right here. 
Of course. You know, there's no competition. And if there is competition, it's friendly competition. It's nothing crazy. And we have fun. We have a good time. So, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Awesome. For anybody listening, focus on your client because they're the ones that are paying your bills at the end of the day, whether you have 20 members, two members, or 430. That's true. Um, because <laughs> word of mouth can spread like wildfire in good and bad ways very quick. Yes. And that was, now that you said that too, that was one of the other things. All of our reviews, we got five-star reviews. So that's another big reason that people come through our door. I think we hit 200 five-star reviews in our community. So everybody says, oh, we saw you on Google. We see how this is like a family. Oh, we see this. And they read our reviews and they come through the door. So absolutely, I agree 100% what you just said. Well, I got to ask, what's your trick to getting reviews on that Google page? (laughs) So of course, it's RefRiser. Of course, of course, of course. No question about it. And honestly, I think the reason that we click so well, you and me, as well as Andre and the whole team, We all have the same mindset when it comes to the family environment, being close. We kick it. We laugh. Andre is one of our members. So it's just it's just fun. And we just we just take it as it comes. We don't take it too serious. You guys have been great for me. You guys have helped me. There's never been any pressure when it comes to anything. If I have an issue, you guys are right on the phone with me or through email. And I I always feel like I'm saying her name wrong. Ina is it? Anna, I always do that. So Anna is like, she's beyond amazing. I mean, we get on the phone call either every week or bi-weekly and she is just, I ask her for something and like two hours later to my mailbox, you know what I mean? It's like, no questions asked. What do you need, Craig? Uh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And I'm expecting that. Uh, she'll get back to me in a couple of days or so. Two hours later, boom, it's right there. So yeah, that's been tremendous. The programs that you guys help me with, we do a lot of trial and error. If it works, it, we keep rolling with it. If not, we just trash it. No questions asked. Um, yeah, you guys have been amazing. And, and again, I'm not saying that just because I'm on here. I've been with you guys, man, a long time now. So it's, it's, it's amazing. I appreciate everything. We appreciate that too. So transitioning away from RefRiser, what is that spark that exists inside of F45 Coral Springs West? Going back to family, going back to that client service, going back to when you call, the first thing you're going to do is you get my assistant, you get my studio manager, and she is on it. And she wants to know what your goals are, what you're looking to do, what you're looking to accomplish, what you've been through. She wants to know your story. We all want to know your story. That way we can help you go on your journey and reach your goals. When a client walks to the door, it's overwhelming. And I think a lot of people kind of forget about that, that we're so used to being in the studio on a daily basis that it becomes second nature to us. We walk in, everybody's friendly, hey, hey. But we don't think about that new person who walks in the door, who's scared to death coming in that door, right? They see all the technology, the music's going, the people are loud, everybody's smiling. And and here comes this person for the first time they were to work out or they haven't been to the gym in two years pre-COVID. And they're like, what is this? So it's really taking a client by the hand and saying, come on, I got you until they start feeling comfortable. I think that, and I keep reminding my coaches about that as well, because we, like I said, we forget we're in the gym all day. We're doing our thing. And these people are coming in scared to death. And sometimes I'll talk to them and they don't even hear me. You know, I can see it in their face. I'm I'm explaining everything to them. And their face is just like in shock. They're just like, what am I doing here? Like, am I going to die? Look at all these people, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> so it's like, listen, it'll be okay. And then we take them by the hand and we, we just literally, I will take a client if I see it like that and I will walk them through each and every station. And I tell my coaches the same thing. <clears throat> if you guys see a client or you feel clients like that, I want you to go through, every, walk with them through every station do some exercises with them, make them feel comfortable, or I'll introduce them to a client that's been there for a while. Here's Carla, and Carla has been here for so-and-so. You're going to work out with her today, and I know that that client is going to take them by the hand as well and walk them through each one. So that's our community. That's what we do, and that's and cleanliness. Let me just put that up. Make sure your place is spotless. Everything needs to be clean from the bathroom to the office to the storage room. As soon as people walk in the door, that's what they're going to notice. And that's what we get a lot of. As soon as people walk in our door, they say, this is so clean. This is so clean. Your gym is so clean. So that's what I would say on that. And for those of you listening, if you are local to South Florida and you want to see what Craig's talking about, hop on YouTube, type in F45 Coral Springs West, check out the testimonials of Craig's current clients, 
trainers and see a walkthrough of Craig Studio live produced by yours truly. <laughs> but that's awesome. Craig, I so appreciate the story. Is there anything you want to say before we wrap up to anybody listening? I just want to, if anybody ever needs any help, anything, hey, you guys need anything, anybody out there, just reach out to me. I'm always willing to help my fellow entrepreneurs in anything they need. So I'm free at any time. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate your time today. Great to hear from you. And thank you for sharing your story. Super inspirational. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much. That's it for this week's episode. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to head over to our site, local-business-hacks.com to check out the show notes and send me questions or ideas for future episodes. If you want to grow your business, just like the people you've heard from here, follow Local Business Hacks podcast and tune in for new tips, tricks, and tactics. Until next time, thanks for listening and keep hacking.